Over. Thank you. Thanks very much, Jesse. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Better Scientific Software tutorial. Um, I just want to mention at the outset that uh, we have a set of slides for this tutorial that you may want to download. Uh, some of the stuff we'll be presenting will move fairly quickly, and you might want to have these to refer to later. Um, and we just updated the slides this morning. So if you have downloaded them from the um, ISS Google Drive site uh, before now, uh, you might want to update that. Another place that you can get them, which I'll talk about in a moment, is the tutorial website. And uh, one of my colleagues can put the uh, link for that in the chat, make it a little more accessible. So we have uh, a group of people from various locations, uh, institutions, who are going to talk to you today about our experiences in trying to produce better scientific software. I'm David Bernholt from Oak Ridge National Laboratory. We have Patricia Grubel from Los Alamos, Rinka Gupta from Argonne, and David Rogers from Oak Ridge. And this afternoon, we'll also be joined by Anchi Dubey and Greg Watson. And we are all members of the IDEAS Productivity Project. IDEAS is a, a part of the Exascale Computing Project that focuses on increasing uh, developer productivity and software sustainability uh, and, and um, scientific reproducibility in this context. And we do a lot of outreach activities as well as working with ECP teams. Uh, and this is an example of, of one of our activities. If you're interested in learning more about the project, you can see how we work uh, and things like that in this report that's in the bottom left corner. And um, we have as part of our, another part of our project, we have a site called Better Scientific Software, just the same name as the tutorial. This is a, a community-based site to um, provide resources for uh, scientific software improvement. We welcome you to visit and make use of the resources there. We also welcome you and encourage you to contribute things that we may not have already on the site that you find useful. Uh, and if you wanna follow uh, us in the future, we have a mailing list that we announce many of our activities. We do a monthly webinar series. We do panels about remote work, which occur quarterly at present. And we have a lot of activities at some of the major scientific meetings, um, like ISC coming up in a couple of months, supercomputings, many SIAM meetings, things like that. Uh, and also the BSSW.io site has a monthly digest where we just uh, update you on what's new on the site. So these are some easy, low volume ways to keep up with things that we're doing. Um, within our group and within our tutorial, we're very concerned about inclusivity and we try to pay attention to this uh, in our own tutorial. If you find examples where uh, you think we can be more inclusive, please let us know. And I'll also just mention at the bottom of this slide, we have uh, links to a couple of uh, resources if you are interested in learning more about inclusivity in software development. Uh, now, let me mention again the tutorial website. So um, bsw-tutorial.github.io, that's kind of the one canonical place that um, you can find all of our tutorial information. Each of our uh, tutorial events has its own page there. So you can go to the main page, find the page for this, um, this tutorial and get all the information that we're providing you. You'll see the full agenda. There is a, a link to the slides. Uh, there's uh, information about the hands-on exercises. And also uh, there's the um, section called resources from the presentations where we've actually taken all the links that appear in these slides and put them right there in the page so that you can access them a little more easily. And this will be there for you to go back to once the videos are available from this uh, uh, this event, we'll link to those as well. Um, also, we have some hands-on activities which are associated with some of the talks that we'll be presenting. This gives you an opportunity to try out some of the um, concepts that we're talking about and we can uh, help you work through those if you want. We'll have some time this afternoon uh, in which you can work on these activities or if you wanna just work on them on your own, uh, we're happy to engage with you at any time. So uh, we do have a, a session 
this afternoon where we'll have it's kind of a choose your own adventure we will have a few talks because the um the presentation part of the agenda i made a mistake and it, it carried on longer than uh, it should have uh, but then we'll have an opportunity for you to do hands-on activities and we can help with that we'll have some opportunity for more q a about the presentations or opportunity for general discussion about your own software development experiences you might want to share get ideas from us get ideas from your colleagues and we found this to be a really useful uh, kind of thing to to do in our presentations um, I want to go back for a second and explain slide two. I skipped over it here, but in all of our presentations, you'll see this slide, which has the license for the content, which is a Creative Commons license. It has the citation that we request if you want to refer to this, uh, and it also has the acknowledgments. And one of the big acknowledgments that we want to tout is our sponsor, the Exascale Computing Project that's made this work possible. Um, and this is maybe the first example of a good practice. This isn't software per se, but it's always good to um, have a license to provide citations uh, to your work that you prefer people to use uh, and also to acknowledge your sponsors. So, so this is maybe the first uh, best practice that we're, we can present to you. Uh, we really want to interact with you as part of this tutorial and afterwards. So uh, as Jesse mentioned, please use the Zoom chat to ask us questions at any time. We'll be available uh, during the, the break if you want to have more interaction. And of course, as I said this afternoon, we have some free time, uh, unstructured time this afternoon that we can do those things as well. Uh, if you want to work on the hands-on activities today or at any other time, we'll be glad to provide feedback on your issues and pull requests that you might want to file as part of the, those activities. And we have a mailing list that you can reach us at at any time. So with that, um, I'm ready to move into the first